Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. That 40-ish and under-dollar range, and most of these are a lot less than that. A good number of these you find at your local rack stores. The one I'm talking about today, I found at my local rack store for $12.99. I thought I was getting Homme Noir, and much to my surprise, in the box, for the same price, out popped, same company, John Mark Harris, sexy secret for him. So that's why there's not a lid on it or anything. I should have just opened the box and looked at it, but like, I didn't. I just thought the box and this thing was in it. So whatever. I'm going to talk about this fragrance regardless. Atomizer on this. It squirts out a decent amount of juice, honestly. So I'm going to go over some of the notes with you guys, let you know what I think about this thing overall, and uh, if it's worth the $12.99 that I paid for it. In the top, there's Lime Zest. Um, I'm not going to go over all the notes, just some of the ones that happen most prominently. In the top, there's the Lime Zest. There is Praline and Caramel in the mid, and in the base, Tobacco and Leather. So... Upon this, this, this fragrance can maybe be a little bit confusing at first because when you first spray it, it's going to seem like it's a fresh fragrance. It's going to seem like, hey, this is something I can wear during the summer pretty easily because that lime zest is quite dominant. You don't get a whole lot of the, like a, just a small amount of the leather, a little bit of the lavender, not too much of the spiciness and the cinnamon. The cinnamon in this thing isn't like a cinnamon candy, it's just a spice, basically. So you get a limey spice a little bit and then about 10 minutes later the leather and the tobacco start to peek its head in pretty good and like 15 20 minutes in this thing is a full-on leather tobacco spicy fragrance no longer that summertime vibe type of a thing but more along the lines of like a fall winter early days of spring type of a fragrance more mature than it is youthful because of the spicy leathery masculine uh, scent profile that this thing tends to have um, longevity on this thing. If you like the way that this thing smells, then you're in for a treat because it's not gonna last any less than seven hours. And for a $13 fragrance, that's pretty good. So overall, I'll personally give it a five and a half because the scent profile is decent. To me, it's not a bad smell of fragrance. It's right along the lines of that average, good smelling fragrance with better than average performance so if it's worthy of a five and a half minimum in my book, it's sharp, it's a bit synthetic, it's got a little bit like there's a hint of like an aftershave kind of a smell going on. Perhaps that's the um, semi-sweet, like there's not a lot of the caramel or the praline in this. It's just very, very mild. It's mostly spicy vanilla or spicy tobacco leather bits of musk a little bit of that lime still hangs on there giving it a sharpness some kind of a distinct sharpness throughout the longevity of this thing it's not it, the sharpness you get from the beginning aside from the freshness is the same thing that happens from beginning to end in this fragrance and the musk starts to come out more and more the longer you get into the lifespan of this thing. So it does morph a bit, a good amount from the opening to the mid, like 15 minutes into it. But after that 15 minutes, when after it settles down, it's pretty much gonna stay true to that from, from that area on for the rest of the seven and a half or eight hours that you get out of this thing. Six and a half for me, I get about seven hours out of this thing. So just a little bit more musk in the extreme dry down. So, like I said, more mature than it is youthful. Cooler weather, not too serious, but not too playful either. Not a compliment type of a DNA. I mean, any kind of fragrance does have the potential to garnish a compliment, but that's not what this is. This is a fragrance that you wear because you just enjoy the way that you smell, which is how fragrances should be anyhow. It shouldn't be about getting compliments. It should be about, hey, I really like the way that I smell wearing this thing, but it's always cool feeling when somebody's like, wow, that smells amazing, whatever it is. You know, it just does something to us. We're human. So <laughs> uh, I guess that's, you know, our fallen state, you know, <laughs> but... That is my final thoughts on Sexy Secret from John Mark Paris for him. Not a bad little fragrance whatsoever. I don't know what the atomizer lid looks like. So, y'all take care of yourself. Be blessed. And until next time.